Right, in this video, I'm gonna give you my top five golf shoes from my collection that are my special shoes. These are my go-to, these are my more traditional shoes. These are those uh, sort of rounds that you've been looking forward to for the last couple of weeks. You know you're gonna play at a special course and you've got to rock the footwear. Then. These are the shoes that are quite special to me. These very rarely get out of the box. Like my, my go-to for Twilight is like a, a, a trainer. Um, type golf shoe but these ones are my special shoes for special occasion. In at number five are my Todd Schneider Foot Joy collaborations. Uh, these are actually what I wore to um, uh, the Belfry at the British Masters when I played in the Pro-Am. I think the Todd Schneider shoes uh, or the first ones that were released that I've also got um, uh, it was the first time that I really noticed Footjoy were doing something different with their releases and started to collab collaborate with Brown, which I think is great for the sport. Um, they have, they've already released some, some unbelievable collaborations and um, yeah, like I say, Todd Schneider ones were sort of the start of where I really started to take notice of what Footjoy were doing and maybe look like they were keeping their traditional elements of um, like your, your My Joys and things like that, which with Footjoy, it just zoos uh, tradition, doesn't it? Footjoy, when I think of Footjoy, I don't think of like a sneaker type shoe. I think of a lovely traditional silhouette like these. And these Tosh Nights are special to me because I wore these at the Belfry. So uh, yeah, I think that's the only time I've worn them. So that's why they're special to me and that's why they're in my top five. Next we have the, um, the G4 Galavantas. Now these are the collaboration with TaylorMade and I am a sucker for the old school TaylorMade logo. I love vintage brand logos. Um, so when these were released, um, I didn't get them actually, but I uh, had a friend that worked for G4 that uh, sent me some uh, a pair. Um, as you can see, I've hard, I think I've worn them once on the golf course and that was just to take photos of them. Beautiful shoes to look at. Um, and it's like when you, when you pivot, and you reveal that logo underneath, it's that it, it, it's pretty special. Um, really well thought out uh, co collaboration with TaylorMade. Um, really comfy as well. I really like the cushioning on the inside um, and the insole. Um, yeah, I'd never had G4 shoes before. These are the only ones that I, I own, but um, just because they're really plain and simple with the vintage TaylorMade logo. But yeah, these are really, really solid shoes. And um, yeah, I, I do love these simply because of the vintage logo, but they're, they're just proper smart, plain and simple. You can wear them with anything. In at number three, we have the Adidas Classic. Uh, I think they're the MC80s, uh, although they don't, they don't call them the MC80s. Um, but yeah, these are, they're just, they're just beautiful shoes. That they've got like the, the, again, sucker for the vintage logo. They've got the vintage Adidas Originals logo. Uh, they've got the lovely tongue with the Bogey Boys logo on them. I actually wore these straight out of the box um, when I played at Royal Norwich and um, they they didn't give me any blisters. They were just super comfortable. I think the only reason they're at number three and not a bit higher is that I would have liked some interchangeable studs. Uh, a bit worried that the more I wear them, that I, I won't be able to replace them. So uh, they've, they've been locked away since I've worn them. But um, yeah, beautiful shoes. I just love the, uh, the vintage, the, the classic look. Um, and the, the Bogey Boys uh, collaboration. I've been really impressed with what Bogey Boys are doing in the industry at the moment. Um, and yeah, these are just a solid collab. Again, very plain, but nice detailing around, around the foot. Um, and again, you can just wear them with anything. Um, but yeah, beautiful shoe. I'm really glad to see uh, Adidas doing some, some more classic silhouettes again. In second place, and it was a close second place, is the, I'm gonna pronounce wrong, the Buscemis or the Buscemis, Buscemis, well, I don't even know. But um, yeah, again, I was, it was one of those collabs that you think, right, Foot Joy are really taking notice in the fashion industry and uh, trying to do something a bit different and trying to appeal to a different target market, maybe. Um, just the, the detail and the gold, uh, the gold buckle on the, on the, um, on the shoelaces, the gold on the heel, the gold studs. Um, it is just a beautiful shoe. Um, so much so I don't think I've worn them. Uh, and they've released a new pair since uh, last year. So, and, and they're just as beautiful, the, the, the newer pair. 
Um, but yeah, really, really, really lovely shoe to look at. Um, and these are gonna be like my really, like these are probably gonna be my wedding shoes, I reckon. I'm sure if I had the Metalwood foot joists, they, they would be right at the top of the list up there. They would be challenging. Fortunately, I was in LA when, when they were released, but they, they went like a flash and I didn't quite attend the event. So it's a shame, but there we go. And last but no means least, uh, I had to bring the box out for this one because I think the box is just as amazing as the shoe. So these are the Adidas Extra Butter um, New York Happy Gilmore 25th Anniversary Shoes. These are, I mean, just, they've got the hockey sticks on the uh, paper on the inside. And uh, yeah, just, just, they are like a classic shoe with modern tech. Um, but, I mean, the detail and the, 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 the Chubbs Crocodile, rest in peace Chubbs. Uh, the Chubbs Crocodile, on the inside with the ball. Um, I just love this whole collab. As you know, I'm a massive Happy Gilmore fan and Happy Gilmore sort of inspired me to get into golf. And also I think it paved a way of like 90s golf that's been a heavy inspiration of my like sort of golf style as well. And sort of he pioneered the making golf accessible in the 90s, didn't he? By showing that actually golf could be really popular if um, it got a bit less stuffy. And um, yeah, I just love this collab, everything about it. You've got the crocodile skin on the, on, on, next to the uh, Adidas free stripes. Um, just a beautiful shoe to look at. So yeah, that's my top five sort of special traditional shoes. As I say, I am normally a sneaker man um, on the golf course, but I like to wear a traditional shoe for those special events. So I am a sucker for like a brogue or, or a traditional silhouette. Uh, that is when I really, really am looking forward to around, and it's going to be a special event. I will always rock up a nice set of traditional golf shoes. What golf has is, is a lot of heritage. I like to show that in my style as well, and show, having a nice traditional pair of shoes on, the, on a nice traditional golf course, I don't think you can beat that feeling. Lastly, a shout out to all these brands that have gifted me these shoes over the last year or so, or two years. Um, never did I imagine that I would be in this position to be able to show you uh, shoes that I've received. So um, yeah, huge shout out to them. Very fortunate and privileged position.